Hello, lovely, and welcome to Yoga with Carolyn. My name is Carolyn, and if it's your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, welcome back. As always, it's an honor to have you here. In today's hands-free yoga flow, we're gonna give those wrists of yours a break and lean into the support of your beautiful feet. So let's root to rise together in this hands-free yoga flow. Welcome to Yoga with Carolyn, teaching yoga students how to find more comfort and presence in life through the lessons of gentle hatha and yin yoga, no matter your shape or ability to touch your toes. All right, my lovely, so hands-free yoga flow. This is a really, really accessible approach to practicing yoga, especially because a lot of yoga flows have quite a few different movements, different poses that can be a lot on the wrists. So in the interest of offering you as much accessible yoga as I possibly can, this is gonna be a nice little break for your wrists. And instead, we're gonna be leaning into the support of your beautiful feet. So you're not gonna need any sort of props for today's practice. All you need is your beautiful self and your yoga mat. So making your way towards the front end of your space and choosing how you like to place the feet. So we'll break down Tadasana, mountain pose in a little bit, but first I'll just invite you to arrive, but being intentional about where your feet go. So creating a stance in your feet that feels supported and that feels grounding for you and your body today in this moment. Allowing your arms to just rest by your sides. And if it feels okay, bringing your eyes to a close. Before we do anything fancy with the intentional breathing or with the physical aspect of the practice, just let yourself arrive. This moment of tuning in, of checking in, being an incredibly impactful and important aspect of your practice. In order to rise to meet whatever inspiration you might have these days, it is important to first root into yourself, into your support, and meeting yourself exactly where you are right now. And allowing your breath to deepen and lengthen as you call in a breath that feels expansive, that takes up space in your body. And then to allow to give you a little bit more of an invitation to arrive. Let's take one deep breath together. Inhale all the way down into your belly. Now open the mouth, exhale. Do that two more times, inhale. Out the mouth, exhale. Last one, breathing all the way from the soles of your feet up to the crown of your head. Exhale, out the mouth. Fantastic. If you've got the eyes closed, I'll invite you to open up into the eyes. And stay exactly where you are at the front end of your mat. I'm just gonna turn towards you so you can see what we're gonna be doing for the feet for the next little bit. So drop your awareness down towards your feet. So really, like, look at your feet. <laughs> Wiggle your toes so your attention is down into those feet of yours that hold you up all day, that walk you through the world, carry you through your life. Now, leading with those inhales and exhales that you've just begun to cultivate, you can keep your gaze down on your feet or you can bring your gaze forward. But on an inhale, lift the toes up away from the mat. Now exhale slowly, pinky toe comes down, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Beautiful, do that again. Inhale, lift the toes. On the exhale, spreading those toes and landing one toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe down. Do that two more times, inhale. 
exhale. I'm just doing this little thing with my fingers to help you out. <laughs> you don't have to do it. You can have the hands on your hips. Beautiful. Okay, now wind one foot, circle the ankle, wind to the other foot, circle the ankle. Okay, one last little exercise to wake up into the feet. So again, you can have the hands on the hips or the hands can just be beside you. Take an inhale to lift the toes. Now exhale, drop the toes, spread as you had them, and then scrunch your toes. Again, inhale, lift the toes. Exhale, spread those toes down and scrunch. Two more times, inhale. Last one. Beautiful. Now release the toes again, circle into the ankle and circle into the other ankle. Okay, really, really helpful and important to wake up the feet, especially when you're gonna be doing a lot of standing postures. Well, a lot of, <laughs> this is not like an hour long practice, but quite a few standing postures, which will help if ever you have any sort of plantar fasciitis when you practice yoga. So you're still at the front end of your mat. Now your feet are awake now. So allow your stance, allow your feet to really press into the mat. A little bit of softness in the knees and allow the hands to come down beside you if they're not there already and intentionally open the palms up towards the front end of your space. Bring your belly button in towards your spine. Allow the crown of the head to reach up towards the sky. Rooting down into your feet, so using that support of your feet to rise up into your shape. All right, you've arrived, you are here. Now let's move. Inhale to reach the fingertips up towards the sky. On the exhale, drop the fingertips out to either side. So we're gonna do a little bit of movement here. On the inhale, you're gonna shine the heart forward. Keep pressing into the feet as you pull the fingertips back. On the exhale, you're gonna sweep forward. If you're in a tiny space like I am, just bear with me. Reach the fingertips forward as you've spread the shoulder blades wide. So you're still really um, strong in the legs. Inhale as you open the heart, shine the heart forward, spread across the heart. Exhale as you sweep the fingertips forward, spreading the shoulder blades wide. One more time, inhale. Maybe the gaze comes up on the last time. Exhale, fingertips reach forward. Inhale to allow the hands to drop back down to either side and bring your hands onto your hips. Bring the weight into your right foot to pick up into the left foot just so that then you can step that left foot back behind you. So coming into a high lunge. So that right leg is bent, right knee is above the right ankle. Back leg is strong. So again, let's explore that rooting to rise here. So press into your feet, feel that heaviness in your tailbone with that solidity, that groundedness in your shape. You can then choose to either have the hands on the hips or reach the fingertips up towards the sky. When you reach those fingertips up, allow the shoulders to drop away from the ears. If you're feeling at all wobbly in this shape today, then you can widen your stance so that you're more kind of like on train tracks than on a balancing beam. Fantastic. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, straighten into that front leg. The hands come down. Inhale, bend into that right knee. Reach the fingertips up. So feel the opposite. You're sinking down, but you're rising up with the arms. Exhale. Straighten that front leg, hands come down. One last time, inhale, reach those fingertips up, bend into that front knee. Exhale, you bring the hands down, straighten into that front leg. Fantastic. Coming into warrior two, so you're gonna pivot on that back foot, back heel comes down. Adjust your stance here so that you find that alignment of that front heel is in the middle of that back foot. Front knee is bent. Open up into the arms, soften the shoulders. 
Notice if you're kind of reaching forward a little bit more or reaching back. So you wanna be stacking shoulders above hips. Gaze is now above the middle finger of the right hand. So staying with that flowing movement. Take an inhale to straighten that front leg. Right fingertips come up, left hand reaches on that back leg. Exhale, you sink back down into your warrior two. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Enjoy that sinking down, rooting down, to then reach up, expand, finding that stretch. Exhale as you sink back down. Bring the hands onto the hips, straighten into that front leg. And now allow both of your toes to now be pointing towards the side of your mat. And then from this shape here, you're gonna come into your warrior two towards the back end of your mat. So pivot on your feet. Your left toes are now reaching towards the back end of your mat. Open up into the arms, sink into that left leg. Now notice here, if your knee is above or in front of your ankle, you wanna make sure that you're stacking that just to keep that knee nice and safe. Open up into the arms. The option is always there to just give your arms a break and you can just move into the leg, so that's definitely an option. Find that stacking of shoulders above hips and the gaze above the middle finger now with the left hand. Once you make your way into that shape, feel that rooting down of the sinking down of your tailbone, that bent front leg, to then help support that rise into the spine. Crown of the head reaches up towards the sky. Using that support of your feet, Let's float out. Flip that left palm up towards the sky. Inhale to straighten that front leg. Left hand reaches up, right hand reaches back and down. Exhale to sink into that front leg, coming back into your warrior two. Two more times at your own pace, inhale. Don't worry about making it look perfect or feel fancy or making sure that you're doing it right, just enjoy it. Once you make your way back down into your warrior two, we're gonna be pivoting on that back leg to then come into that high lunge towards the back end of your mat. So even though you're gonna be facing away from your device, you know this, you've done this already. So trust in your body and then listen to my voice. So hands on the hips to then begin to lift that back heel so that you pivot your front hip bones towards the back end of your space. Adjust the feet so you widen your stance a little bit. Train tracks, not balancing beam. <laughs> those hands on those hips just so that you can make those adjustments with support. And then when you're ready, reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Once you make your way there, allow the shoulders to drop away from the ears. Take an inhale here, please. Exhale to straighten into that front leg, fingertips come down. Inhale. Exhale, straighten that front leg, hands come down. Last one, inhale, bend into that front knee, fingertips up. Exhale, straighten, hands come down. Bring the hands onto those hips so that you now pivot towards the left side of your yoga mat again making your way into this wide-legged shape with the feet. So work from the ground up. Bring your attention to your feet. The outer edges of your feet are parallel to the front and the back of your space. Lift up into the arches of your feet, and you'll then notice that maybe your legs engage. So lift those kneecaps, hug the inner thighs in towards each other. Notice your tailbone. So allow your tailbone to feel heavy. Maybe that means you tuck your tailbone a little bit to engage into the lower abdominals. Now, from this shape here, let's find a little bit of movement in the arms. Reach the fingertips forward and then allow the fingertips to come out to either side. All right, we did this at the very beginning of the practice. Take an inhale to open the heart, reach the fingertips back. Exhale to reach the fingertips forward and round into the spine. Inhale as you open the heart, reach the fingertips back. Exhale as you round into the heart, reach the fingertips forward. One last time, inhale, open. Exhale, reach the fingertips forward. 
beautiful. Inhale, open those hands. And then allow the hands to come down onto the hips. Take an inhale, reach the fingertips up toward the sky. On the exhale, tip the hips back, reach the heart forward, bring the fingertips all the way down. Inhale to bring yourself all the way back up. Press into those feet, use those legs. Exhale. Inhale, reach the fingertips forward, bring yourself all the way up. And then exhale, float those hands down. Tiptoe the feet towards each other so that you bring yourself in towards the center of your mat. We're gonna be coming into a balancing pose. We're gonna be coming into tree pose. So if you know that for yourself, for balance, it will help for you to come off of your mat onto a little bit more of a supportive flooring, then do that. Bring yourself towards a wall, towards the couch, whatever you've got nearby. If you feel like it would be beneficial for you to have extra support. And this is really where you're gonna use that support, that connection into the floor to really support yourself in this shape. Your attention comes into your left foot. So I'm not mirroring you here. So my left foot is your left foot here. So press into that left foot. Find that integrity in the feet so you know what you're doing here. Press into all five toes, into the heel. Lift the kneecap a little bit to engage into that leg. Okay, option one is to keep the right toes on the floor and then open that right knee out towards the side. So this is tree pose. This is you exploring tree pose with a little bit more support on the floor and really exploring that opening into the hip. Option two, if you feel like you wanna come into, option two would be to lift into that leg, bringing the sole of the foot on the inside of the bottom part of your leg, right underneath that knee. Option three would be to lift all the way up, allowing that foot to come into the inner thigh, the trick to keeping it up there is to really hug into the center line. Hands can stay on the hips, hands can come into heart center, or hands can reach all the way up towards the sky. And breathe, my lovely. <laughs> Notice if you're holding your breath. <laughs> And to release out of the shape nice and slow, you can use the hand to slowly step that foot down. And then shake out into that standing leg, so circle into the ankle. And then getting ready to come into the shape on the other side, bringing those hands onto the hips. Find that integrity, that rooting down into your right foot, engage into the legs. Like you've got like roots really sinking down under the floor, into the floor to really support yourself in your tree pose. And then choose where you'd like to go. The options again would be to keep the toes on the floor, open up into that knee. Option two is to raise that leg up a little bit or that foot up a little bit right underneath of that knee. Option three is to bring that foot to the inner thigh. And then choosing where you'd like to place the hands Know that this side might be completely different than the other side. That's okay. That's just the beauty of balance. We use the lesson that you are exploring in today's practice of rooting in order to rise. Rooting into what is supportive, what is grounding for you in order to rise to meet whatever potential, whatever inspiration comes your way. You got this. Nice and slow and gently releasing your way out of the shape. I come back into your Tadasana, your mountain pose. You can stay exactly where you are in the center of your mat here. Come back into your Tadasana, allow the palms to open towards the front of your space and bring your eyes to a close. Allow yourself to really sense into the support of whatever is supportive for you. Maybe it's your yoga practice, maybe it's your breath. There's something that just felt right today. 
and the practice. Inhale, reach the fingertips out and all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, allow the hands to come into heart center. Drop your chin towards your chest. Giving yourself a moment here at the end of your practice to celebrate the time that you set aside to do something for you. And then slowly lifting into the chin, opening up into the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me during today's hands-free yoga flow. I absolutely hope that this was a supportive practice for you to root to rise. If you enjoyed today's practice, I would absolutely love to hear from you. You can let me know in the comments below where you're practicing from or if today's practice was supportive for you. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. That is the best way to support more free online accessible yoga. From my heart to yours, until next time, namaste.